case you couldn't tell, I love ornament and crime. This module is extremely deep, and some of the modes are incredibly fun to play with. One mode that is capable of generating beautiful or chaotic results is the copier machine mode, which makes use of a unique type of sample and hold, called an analog shift register. Remember sample and hold? We previously discussed how sample and hold modules take an incoming CV signal, freezing the signal at whatever voltage happened to be passing through when triggered. The analog shift register works the same way. However, when a new trigger is received, the previously held voltage at output A is sent to the next output, while channel A adopts the new held voltage. This cascading effect continues out of the four outputs, each picking up the previously held voltage from the preceding output. Let's try this with two oscillators. I'll route outputs A and B to the Maleko anti-oscillator and the Sputnik oscillator. I'll make sure they are in tune, and then route a variable output from a cycling channel on maths to the CV1 input on the ornament and crime. I'll route a clock from Tempe to trigger 1, and we should see and hear some activity. The first oscillator plays the sampled and held pattern. The second waits a step, playing the same pattern delayed by that one step, creating a chord. This interaction becomes much more harmonious and musical when the output voltages are quantized and constrained to a scale. In copier machine mode, the left encoder can be used to select a scale from the collection of traditional and non-traditional scales shown at the top of the menu. We can set the root key as well as use the scale mask function to remove certain notes from the selected scale. In semitones mode, all 12 notes of the Western scale will be available. We can then use the scale mask to prevent certain notes from being heard, shifting them to more desirable and harmonious notes. We can also use a more limited scale and use all or only some of those notes depending on how we set up the scale mask. The mask can even be offset to instantly create different sequences. Things are already more harmonious between our oscillators with the scale engaged. If we route two more oscillators to the outputs C and D, our chord combinations get much more complex, yet still remain musically connected. Using the MULT AT function, which acts as a gain or scaling control for the incoming CV signal at input 1, we can shrink or expand our sampled and held signal, similar to using the maths channel attenuverter. We can also use more modulation in this mode. Trigger 2 will freeze the incoming messages, holding all channels at their current voltage. While triggers 3 and 4 transpose the pitch up and down by an octave. CV inputs 2 through 4 can be used to modulate the index, which we'll come back to in another video, as well as scale mask rotation, and octave transposition. What 
tools are you using as a sample and hold or analog shift register? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and sharing. As always, please like, follow, and subscribe. And remember, patch smarter.